Adam here from the Walzer Automotive Group, but what I want to do today is take you on a test drive. So next to me here, I have the 2025 Mazda CX-70. So we'll look at the interior, the exterior, and then go for a spin around to see what it's like out on the road. Okay, so we're behind the wheel of the 25 Mazda CX-70, and now this is the PHEV, so that means plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. So there's a few different ones when you're looking at the CX-70, but there's going to basically be broken down into two trim levels, the hybrid and then the non-hybrid. So this one has a four-cylinder with the hybrid powertrain, so we'll dig into that a little bit more when we're driving around, but I wanted to start with my cell phone, because we've always got that with us, so I'm going to put that on the wireless charger down there, and you are going to have Apple CarPlay as well as Android auto so that's pretty cool in the infotainment screen but let's put it in drive we'll go for a spin around so with the hybrid vehicle if you're not familiar too much with maybe the hybrids or you're thinking about going electric there's a lot of different options on the market now the cx70 like i said has a four-cylinder engine with the hybrid plug-in component so when you plug this vehicle in the maximum range for all electric is going to be about 26 miles so i've got a nice charge up here it says i've got 23 miles of electric and with about a half a tank of gas i've got a 140 mile range now, if you're someone who's not ready to maybe go full EV yet, I think hybrid is a great option because you're going to get a lot of the benefits of some of that electric motor stuff, but maybe you're planning a big road trip from Minneapolis to Chicago, you're still going to be able to use the gas and you don't have to rely on just charging. But what is the CX-70? Where does it fall in the lineup? So Mazda came out with the CX-90 and now this is the new edition, which is the CX-70. It's gonna be very similar to the CX-90, except for the fact it doesn't have a third row. Maybe you're someone who doesn't need all that extra seating space. This provides you with a lot of storage capacity instead of the third row. There's a little hidden storage compartment just behind the rear seats. So you can actually fold that second row or slide it forwards and you can lift it up from the second row so there's storage and then in the back. So you can actually remove the floor or pick it up and there's gonna be even more storage underneath there. So if you don't need to haul seven passengers around and you're good with just five but want all the extra space i think the cx70 is an excellent option for that now like i said this one is the plug-in hybrid but there also is going to be an inline six model there's a few differences obviously with fuel economy this one is going to be rated at about 56 mpge so what that means is combined with the gas and with the hybrid powertrain 56 mpge combined is pretty awesome out of a large suv now the CX-70 styling is really good. I think Mazda did such a great job with this vehicle. One of the big things being a lot of the color choices. I love this one. So this particular trim is going to be the premium plus trim. So what that means is there's about two trim levels when looking at the PHEV and a handful more when you jump to the inline six. But the premium plus does add some pretty good stuff. Being this Napa red leather interior, it's going to that and add a power passenger seat and the driver and the passenger seat up front here are going to be heated as well as ventilated and one of my all-time favorite features you are going to get the heated steering wheel in this model and then if we look at the second row again the red and apple leather back there and those are going to be heated seats for them as well so a few other things in the premium plus versus kind of just the standard premium model this one does get the 360 view surround backup camera that is really cool. Maybe you're trying to see if the kids left something in the garage or you're parking in a tight parking spot. There's actually a little button you can click down here at any time. I'm going 35 miles an hour. I can click that and you can actually see what's going on in front of you. If you're maybe trying to pull out in the city somewhere, that is a really convenient and cool feature. Now let's talk about the CX-70 in general. So there's a lot of good stuff. Like I said, some of the options or equipment when you're going from the CX-5 to the CX-70 or the CX-90, there's a lot of luxury in these cars. I know that maybe they compete with things like Honda or Toyota, but just from the interior, this feels more like it competes with the German SUVs to me. The fit and finish in here is gorgeous. The red Napa leather up here on the dash, just the way it's all laid out, it really does feel like you're getting a lot of value for the money. Now, yes, this premium plus hybrid will come in at an MSRP of just over $59,000. 
So there is quite a price point, but when you start getting into these full size or larger SUVs, the prices start to creep up and you expect all this luxury and comfort in here. Things like the fully digital gauge cluster here, that is so cool. When I click on the cruise control, the gauges kind of spin and I can set my adaptive cruise control to four, three, two, one car length distance ahead of me. And that's actually gonna keep that distance on the highway. So maybe you're doing those cabin trips, a lot of road trips, you're just on the highway a lot. The adaptive cruise control paired with all the iActive safety stuff in this vehicle is pretty amazing. Emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, there's so much stuff built into these new Mazdas that, like I said, if it's gonna be you and the family in the vehicle, you're absolutely gonna wanna make sure you're safe. And the CX-70 certainly delivers on that front. Now there is a few different drive modes in here. So with our MI or my drive, you can actually go between a sport mode, an EV, and then an off-road mode. And what that will do will actually change the digital gauge cluster. And when you put it in the off-road mode, it feels a little more utility. If you go to the sport mode, it goes to the red. So it's a pretty cool, you know, kind of sense of how you're driving or how you want to change stuff. There's a lot of ways to configure your style of driving, which I really like in here. And then just below that button, there's another little click you can do to just put it into the EV or switch it back into the gas mode. So maybe you want to save some of that charge up or you just want to drop into the gas mode. You can click that and that's pretty cool as well. Another thing in here, the Bose sound system. So that's an upgrade for this one and it does sound really good. If you've got your Spotify going or maybe just your HD radio stations, the Bose sound system is really good in the Mazda. And I mean, it really comes down to 90% of the time, what are you using the vehicle for? Are you driving back and forth to work? Are you picking up the kids? Do you need the extra space? I think if you don't need the CX-5 and you want the extra room, but you don't want that third row, this delivers on all of that. I mean, you're getting so much equipment and luxury in here. There's so much good stuff. And I love this polymer gray metallic exterior with the Napa red leather. I mean, that sounds like you're walking into an exotic car dealership ordering colors, not a regular Mazda, which is so comfortable and quiet on the road. And then when you come to a stop, dead silent. With the EV mode, it'll go back in. So there's a lot of good stuff here. I, I really like the idea of the hybrid and not maybe going full electric if you're kind of in that period of, yes, I don't want to be maybe stuck to a charging network at all times, but I still want the gas motor. That's where this one really is going to be pretty good and very helpful for you. So just a few other little things. There's actually a button in the back that will be power to fold the second row. So you can click that button if you're throwing stuff in there, that's gonna kick and fold that seat forward. And those seats, like I said, do slide, they fold, they're movable, there's tons of storage in here. You know, there's a lot of pretty simple conveniences. Like there's two plugins in the back. So if you are going camping, I think this would be an amazing vehicle for that because you got the two plugs back there so you can keep maybe a cooler plugged in or any kind of lights you want to use at a campsite. And just the overall space you can use. There's actually roof rack rails up above so you can put the crossbars up there as well. So there's lots of good stuff. So I think if you're in the market for a full-size SUV but you don't need the third row, the CX-70 is one of the best ones right now to get out, take for a spin, see what you think. So that was just a quick look at the Mazda CX-70. Now, if you have any other questions or you'd like to schedule a test drive, you can visit us online at walzer.com or stop by either one of our Mazda locations. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.